Hey everybody, welcome to another Monday Fly Tying Series with Old Guy Outdoors. I'm Edward, and if you're already a subscriber, thank you for all your support. We've hit over our 100 subscriber mark, and uh, we couldn't do it without you. If you're new to the channel, hit that little subscribe button right over there, and uh, join us every Monday for our Fly Tying Series. Plus, we have fishing videos throughout the month. Um, today we're going to do a Charlie Boy Hopper, our version of the Charlie Boy Hopper. So uh, here we go. We're going to start off with a size 10 hook and we're going to take a piece of foam the thin foam I think it's eighth inch and uh, we're going to uh, cut it the width of the gap of the hook and then we're going to punch through it in the center with the hook and then thread it back on the hook and then we're going to take a piece of just scrap foam whatever you got handy I just use yellow just because it's not going to show so it's not a big deal wrap it to the hook and then fold the foam that you've already got over it back on it again looks like I got a little uh, fray in my thread but we're going to punch a hole right at the front of it and thread it over the eye of the hook there we go so it just sits like that now your line's going to be on the other side of it you can see where my uh, thread is uh, we're going to take some super glue and smear it all over him and rub him in really good there we go like that yep that's perfect and then we're simply gonna fold it back over and press it down i use these little jeweler pliers that my dad uh, left me and they work really good we're going to take and get a pass that fray of my thread and just do some snug wraps and then we're going to cross over and make some more snug wraps we'll cross over again my sections are about three per this fly we're going to take a razor knife and we'll trim off the edge back on the back end of the fly like that there we go now a lot of fly tires, the original fly tire uh, tied it, uh, trimmed it on the bottom, but we do it on the top just because it's easier. Uh, and then make a nice little angle. Then we're going to attach some rubber legs. I use this gold and black uh, leg material, just rubber material. We'll cut off a length. One of these lengths make uh, two hoppers. Uh, so we'll just Put a little bit over the front. Uh, we're going to time kind of uh, cut them kind of short. So, uh, and then the back, we'll just uh, stretch it out and uh, affix it to the side of the hopper for the back legs, like that. There we go. Yep. And then bring our thread up front again, back behind, make a crossover, and back behind the legs. Yeah. We're going to take some of this wing material and cut it just behind tail and make some neat uh, angle, yeah, like that. And affix it right behind the legs. Yeah, there we go. Several wraps. Make sure the leg gets back out of the way so I don't tie it in. Yeah, there we go. Now we're going to take a little piece of elk hair, a little bunch, and see my catch vibrates when I smack it in there. There we go. Okay, and then we'll measure that to about the length of the tail of the hopper 
trim it off and affix it. There we go. Pull them snugly. Is that a word? No. Pull it snug. <laughs> and uh, then I'm going to use my wider whip finish tool because I find that when I do these hoppers and stuff, anything, it, it helps me get past all that stuff so I don't get it caught in. Uh, make several wraps, trim off your tag. There we go. Now we're going to just pull the legs forward, trim them off short in the front, and a little bit longer in the back past the, the butt of the fly. There we go. And uh, we'll move it up a little bit and put a little head cement, a little dabble do you. There you go. And there you go is our version of the Charlie Boy Hopper. Very simple hopper fly. Great little fly to use. Love it. Well, that's all we have for today, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us for the our version of the Charlie Boy Hopper. Um, Please like and share our videos, hit that subscribe button, that bell notification, and leave some comments down below. We love hearing from you. Couldn't do this without you. Until next time, remember, life's a gift. Get outdoors. See you now. Bye.